So uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and what I do. Um, I was born in Mexico City with uh, three nationalities. Then I grew up in about eight countries. Um, I have no idea about what the meaning of home means or uh, nationalism. Um, I studied a little bit of everything and did a little bit of many things before doing what I do. I, I've done, well, I studied art history in France and I did um, architecture between Milan and Mexico City. I then did, um, I, st I finished studying architecture, I didn't, I didn't want to do architecture, I was doing a little bit of photography, I did a couple of, uh, I've done um, shows in a couple of galleries in Hong Kong, London and Mexico City. So um, I, I, I've done many different things and I, I realized I didn't know what I wanted to do. I also, after that, I was offered a, a great job opportunity in Mexico, um, and well, Mexico, Argentina and the Netherlands doing film financing. So I was pretty much getting peop, uh, money from investors into movies and then I, I had to make the investors understand why the money was going to be great with uh, investing in these movies and it was quite flashy and a lot of uh, whatever celebrities, things like that. But I didn't really I, I didn't really care about the industry. And then I moved to Hong Kong, I was doing a little bit of finance, uh, I did a master's in finance. And one um, Saturday morning, I was sitting with my friends after lunch, uh, after um, break, brunch, whatever, and a friend of mine was reading newspaper and she was like, oh, look at this, there's a, there's a casting for um, The Wizard of Oz. Uh, you should go and just go for the casting. And I'm like, well, I don't, I don't really, do acting or anything and she was like whatever just do it and they were like yeah they were kind of um, teasing me that I would not do it so I was like oh, I'll do it so I went I got I got the, um, the piece of newspaper I didn't really read it properly I went there on the day that it said on the piece of paper and uh, I'm like oh my god what if I get a little bit of panic attack when I you know like scenery um, whatever attack so I was like well I'll just get a couple of drinks before I go so I I got um one gin and tonic, I was like, oh, this is not doing any effect. I had about 17 gin and tonics. And uh, I got there completely wasted. And I also had a flask with me just in case I got sobered up. So I get there, I'm sitting in the waiting area, and I realize there's 17 Doherty's sitting next to me. And I'm like, oh my god, I might have come the wrong day. So I get there, 17 Dorothy's, they're probably between 12 and 15 year olds. And it's my turn, so I go into the auditorium. There's probably 10 people sitting in front of me, and they look at me like, what the fuck? So um, they're like, so did you read the, did you read the, did you go online and read the part? And I'm like, no, I just read the newspaper and it said it was today. And they're like, yeah, today is Dorothy. Um, which, which, are you applying for Dorothy? And I'm like, no. Which, which character do you want to be? I have no idea. Um, and they're looking at me like, what? So um, they, um, they asked me, well, did you bring your music sheet? Because I was supposed to bring a music sheet to give to the woman who was on the piano and then sing a song. Um, I clearly did not read that either. So I'm like, no. And then I'm asking, completely wasted, this woman in the piano, being like, which songs do you know? Just sing one and I'll, just play one and I'll sing it. And, and then she's like, honey, this is not other things work. I'm like, okay, I'll just, I'll just sing a cappella. So I'm completely drunk. There's probably 10 British people s sitting in front of me and I start singing American Pie a cappella, forget the words after probably 25 seconds and they're like, great, we'll call you. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the call. Um, but after that, they told me, just wait a little bit outside, there's a dancing casting after this. And I'm like, what? So come back with all the Dorothy's and there's a choreographer, the piano woman, and we're supposed to do the, we come to see the wizard. Clearly, they were all laughing. And it got to a point that it was so embarrassing that I just stood out, got my phone, move a table, move a chair, put it on top, and I'm just filming the whole thing because my friends were not going to believe that I did this. <laughs> anyway, I left that. I went to see some friends for supper and I was completely drunk. And um, the point is, um, I think you have to learn from when, when you're afraid and when you, uh, when you come out of your comfort zone. Um, saying all of this, I, I did not know what I wanted to do with my life. I realized when you want to, when you're pursuing your dream, um, I, I, I didn't know what my dream was. And then I realized that 
if you think about it, I've always liked retail and the fashion industry. I was in Hong Kong, I was designing my own clothes just for fun. I was traveling to India and to Italy to buy fabrics. I was doing my own clothes with tailors in Hong Kong. And people would always look at me and ask me where I got my clothes made or where I got my clothes from. So I realized that's what I want to do. I want to have a clothing brand. Um, and it, it made perfect sense. I would be inside a shop and I would be looking at everything that happened in the shop. I would be looking at the fabrics, I would be looking where the, where the clothes were made, the lighting, the smell of the shop. And then I realized I want to work in fashion, I want to work in retail. And it was clearly not easy, but I just did it. And um, I started a um, clothing brand about three years ago. Then I moved to London, I started doing uh, tr trade shows, went to Paris and Milan to get fabrics, uh, find manufacturers. It, it, probably people don't know what their dream is and what you want to do with your life, but I think when you realize what you want to do, you should just do it. It doesn't really matter where you are or, or what you're doing, just pretty much jump in and, and risk it all and do it. And my, well, I think sometimes it's really hard to be an entrepreneur as well. I, sometimes you wake up and you ask yourself, what are you doing with your life? It's, you, I made a business plan before doing my, my company and you, you're supposed to be selling a million pounds within one year and obviously you're not gonna get there in one year. And, um, and then you wake up and you have to pay people and you have to pay the factories and you have whatever press conference and things like that and you you're so stressed and you realize why why how am I doing this and then it all makes sense you you realize that you come a really long way from where you started where you are now even though you thought you were going to be further away um, anyway my question is are you doing what you really really love doing or are you doing something because you're in your comfort zone and you want to get out of it thanks Woo!